Kia ora, tenekoto, hello and welcome back aboard the ANS Yamato. My name is Birdtross and this is my Let's Play of Star Lancer. Oh man, you're in for a treat today. Mission 19, it's a little bit out there as far as the missions for Star Lancer go. Let's go ahead and say hello to Klaus, the fish that we named after our dear and dead friend Klaus Steiner. Not that I really consider him a friend, we hate the guy. Uh, it's kind of like a love-hate relationship, I suppose. Go ahead and give Klaus some food. There you go. Looks like you're getting better after being being called Klaus for a while. Perhaps that's a... I suppose that's a good thing, the fact that he's actually eating now. Anyway, go ahead and turn over to the screen and listen to the AC News. This is Heidi Moore reporting for the Alliance Conflict News, October 17th, 2161. The war almost took a very serious turn today, when coalition forces bypassed Saturn and attempted a surprise attack at Alliance headquarters near Neptune. Once again, it was the Tiger and Ronin squadrons that cut short the coalition assault, destroying several enemy vessels and support craft. Coalition forces have since retreated to their own lines. In other news, Alliance forces blockading Titan have successfully held coalition reinforcements at bay. Alliance ground forces have liberated a third of Titan's population, and it seems only a matter of time before an allied victory is accomplished. The price, however, is high. The conflict has already claimed over one million Alliance lives. This is Heidi Moore for the Alliance Conflict News, signing off until next time. A million people! Holy crap, that's huge! Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot, that's a way bigger number than I was expecting, but I guess it is the future. Well, we're like really talking bit to those dudes. Anyway, onwards to the briefing room. You know, I'm kind of getting uh, used to Klaus Steiner being dead, to be honest, guys. Very happy that he's out of the picture. Just allows us to be on top of the kill board, claim all the respect, and of course, get the ladies in between missions, of course. <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> Alright, onwards to the briefing room. And sit down in the chair at the front. Hey, folks. Okay, settle down and listen up. We've just received some good news, people. Klaus Steiner, believed killed in action, is alive. He is being held on a coalition prison ship, the Saladin, which is currently en route to Europa. We're going to make sure she doesn't make it. High Command wants their best on this job and has chosen us. Using the new prototype stealth fighters, we intend to rescue Steiner along with all the other POWs on that hellhole. The Tigers will take out the Saladin's fighter escort, the Scorpions, followed by her defense turrets. The Saladin must then be immobilized by destroying her engines, followed by her gravity drive to stop it rotating. Once these objectives are achieved, boarding ships with special forces units will evacuate Steiner and the other prisoners. Let's make sure everything runs nice and smooth, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare your ships, Tigers. No! No! Stun is alive! I mean, that, 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 that's great. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. Ah. <laughs> Alright then, it's time to go ahead and select the missiles because uh, this is the only ship that you're allowed for this mission. It's the Shroud. It's a stealth mission. Kind of a bit out there as far as the mission uh, variety goes, which is actually really nice. It's a bit of a shame that you don't sort of get more mission, mission variety like this. So what are we going to go ahead and choose for our mission here? We've got two Raptors and two Solomons. I think I'll go ahead and... Let's see, we'll take a Fuel Pond to play it safe as always. Uh, let's get some screamer pods as well, perhaps a screamer pod or two maybe, or maybe raptors. I think we'll take a one raptor pod as well, to be pretty cool. I think that's a fairly nice setup. Alright then, let's go ahead and exit the loadout computer, and head to the hangar deck. Dismissed. Can I go on the stealth mission guys? Can I, can I, can I? No! Oh, okay. Well, I guess Command finally realized it's time to roll with the dice, man. So let's make this one count. Remember, our main priority is Steiner. Once the Marines have him secured, a rescue team will move in and get the rest of our people. You're out of control. Can you give me an update on that boarding ship? 
They're launching now, Alpha Leader. Command has decided that you team up with Ronin Wing. We've just detected the presence of an enemy scouting party near the boarding ships at NAV-1. Your orders are to warp ahead and spook them out. The boarding ship and Ronin Wing will join you there once the area has been cleared. Roger, Commander. It'll be our pleasure. Tigers, let's go see what these crates can do. Let's move out. Right oh. <laughs> Give me a chance to talk here, game. Warpy warp away! Oh wow, kind of all warping into each other. <laughs> Sweet air, so we're all flying shrouds. That is the default ship for the mission. Stealthy, stealthy, stealthy! Hello, Saturn. Looks kinda quiet. Alpha 5, run a scan of the area, see what you can find. Yeah, the ship appears to be jumping around a bit. I think that's my joystick settings. I've got bogeys inbound. Uh-oh. Alright, let's get those guys on there, and let's go for it. How's it going, boys? <laughs> yeah, so I think I have to recalibrate my joystick for every um, every mission, basically, and I don't know why it is. Every time, like, you sort of... The calibration settings seem to go a bit haywire every time I, like, restart the computer or something, so... Gotta fix that before every Starland submission. And it seems like that's slightly different this time around. Hopefully it won't play too much havoc. Might make people seasick or whatever. Man, use that match speed functionality bird. So yeah. The Shroud uh, has proton cannons, it's very weak weapons. I <laughs> like the beginning game weapons that we had on the Predator and Coyote. Well, what's up with you? You have been havocarized, haven't you? Yeah, that looks to be the case. This guy's taken a little bit longer than meteorizing normal. Oh, wow, that guy got taken out. And you're quite far away. What kind of missiles do I have? Got the Raptors and Screamers. Let's go for the Screamers. I kind of want to save them for the Saladin, the prison ship if I can. The prison station, whatever it is. Target closest dude. They're both pretty dang far away, actually. Yo. I keep forgetting to match speed. <laughs> That's a really bad habit that I've suddenly got. On, Get rid of that guy. Oh, chill out, Moose. I did throw a cannon measure. Okay. You're out of control. Area has been pacified. The boarding ship and Ronin are clear to move in. Good work, Tigers. They're jumping now. Meow. Here they come. Hello, everybody. Hey, wait, they're jumping in? We had to warp them, but they jumped in. I guess it is a ship. He said ship. It's time to warpy warp away. Like the fantastic warp animation's kind of... The audio's sort of all looping over top of each other. Kind of interesting. Ow. Noisy. Okay, there she is. And it looks like we couldn't have timed it better. Judging from that extra protection, they must be transferring prisoners. Dead in the water Wait, like that makes this a whole lot easier. Alpha 5, oh, okay. what do we got? Looks like a mixture of Kurgans, Sabres, and Lags, sir. Okay, let's cloak up and move in. Your target should be highlighted in your HUD now. Move into position and await my signal. Anyone gives our position away, and they'll have me to deal with. Now move out! Alright then, let's cloak up. Initiated. Look out, bad nice little guys. Cut the invisible men are in town. So you're just a cloak by pressing the K key on your keyboard if you have a cloak capable ship and the only ship in the game that's cloak capable is the Shroud and the enemies, the, the Coalition of course, has the Basilisk as their cloaking ship. They're just cloaking ships. Okay, buddy, let's move in. Yeah, cloaking ships are just a little bit underpowered in this game because they only have these proton cannons and then they only have four hard points. We're in position. Wait for my signal. Right up. So let's get over here, because this thing is still rotating until we take these gravity drives out, so 
as you can see it is moving around the axes of the ship so I've got to go back down again as you can see Boop. <laughs> tap the Z key just give me the word dust man this is Alpha Leader oh. Right, uh, let's do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Well, right. So you've got to let her decloak and then it'll fire. Right, uh, one down. The enemies are just like my butt. How did they get there? Are we really that really badly undefended? <laughs> Take out these gravity drives. Stop this baby turning. Turn around. Okay, one more. <laughs> and that's it. Now let's take our turrets and her cover down and get that boarding ship in here ASAP! How's it going? lag a You guys have got laggy computer systems. Ha <laughs> ha! Lag joke. All the way, man! All the way! I guess the other really nice thing about these ships that use Pokemon cannons is that the power core, the, you know, the available power that you see on the right of the crosshair, that doesn't go down very fast, which is kind of nice. You got him. It means you can actually shoot at your target for a decent amount of time before, you know, it sort of takes a little bit longer. Alright, let's throw a few counter measures out. Stop that from happening. There we go. These guys are actually pretty easy to take out with these Pokemon cannons. Even on medium difficulty, I'm a little bit surprised here. Have they been nerfed a bit or something for this mission? It's possible. Okay, I oh, know we've got a few fighters left. Let's look back. Yeah. And of course, uh, the blind fire on this ship is actually pretty awesome as well. Let's finish him off for the spin now. Come on. Here we go. Right. Nice Come one. On, take those out. Let's take out this Kurgan first thing as we're closer. Also, it flies even better than the Phoenix because of that top speed stuff. Got a few screamers at it, why not? We'll take it out in a hurry. And... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Oh, dear. Looks like we lost pretty much all of our frontal arm. Uh, what, what's the front of the ship? Starboard? Port? Aft, stern, one of those four. Hey, at least I know the four sh names, right? Oh dear, that was bad losing our armor though. Now we've got to be so a little bit more careful. I guess we took the sting out of their tails. Now lock on and finish off those turrets. We need that boarding ship in here ASAP. Yeah, right, because taking out turrets is kind of hard to do when you don't have armor. Third turret destroyed. <laughs> Because that basically means if they get through, you know, we're, we're hosed. <laughs> right, so this it's over here. Taken out. Dice Any man, there? all turrets have been dealt with. Well Six. done, Tigers. Boarding ship Delta Six. This is Alpha Leader. You are clear to move in. On our way, Alpha Leader. Ronan, let's move out. Here they come. Okay, okay. Oh. Enemy fighters moving in. We've got to keep the point. Summary of this game. <laughs> right. How's it going, guys? You know, the, I guess that right there where, where they're all bunched up would be a pretty good opportunity to throw a havoc if you have one. I don't know. Let's take these guys out. It looks like we uh, our weapons actually got a little bit damaged there, didn't they, according to the uh, ship computer. Which is a bit of a downside. That was something for you guys to improve on when you play this mission. Oh. We're a bit, we're like, headbutted each other. <laughs> who, who, who remembers, like, destroying ships by, like, headbutting them? Well, I remember playing it the first time. 
I remembered when I played it the first time, I, yeah, you always kill one ship, at least one ship. <laughs> Via headbutting. We just got a funny but I don't remember doing that during the LP. Again. Keep it coming, buddy. Right, let's sort that out. Got a screamer or two at ya. There we go. Not that way. Head on in. How's it going? We've got another missile, man. People love us. We're a cloaking ship. I should just actually just cloak, okay. to be honest. That's that's all the bad lasers, actually, isn't it? Yeah. This just gets better. We've got Kurgan's inbound with a fighter escort. I don't want them calling oh. for backup. They're here. Hold okay. your fire. We have Alliance prisoners on board. Kill us, and you will be killing your comrades. What? Alpha Five, scan those Kurgans. Scan complete, uh -oh. sir. Twenty extra life forms aboard both Kurgans. The scumbag wasn't bluffing. No, 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 no! Okay, you heard the man, Tigers. Stay away from those Kurgans. Hit the fighters uh. only. I repeat, the fighters only. Oh, who she is that damage? Keep it coming, buddy. Sir, the Kurgans are going after the boarding ship. What do we do? It's a tough call, but we know what we came here to do. God, forgive me. Tires, take out those Kurgans now. That's an order. Do what? We'll be killing our own men. Secure it, pilot. What would you have me do? It's a life of 20 men compared to all the men on the prison ship. Just do it. Oh, man. Make it quick, pilot. Bad decisions. Tires, keep that boarding ship covered. We've got to buy those Marines more time. Don't we? Couldn't we just, like, take out the Kurgan turrets or something? Wouldn't that help? Ah, whatever. Let's just let's just blow them up. <laughs> I know it's easier. Oh, actually, hit them with our screens, please. Yeah. Blow it up. Come on. Blow it up. Blow it up. Keep the boarding ship safe. We're nearly there, people. Keep tight. Both targets have been destroyed. Damn it! Wasn't there anything we could have done? I don't like it any more than you, Tigers. But it had to be done. Deal with it. That's the last of those fighters. Right. Yeah, I feel like we could take out the turrets there, but I don't know if you take all three turrets out and a Kurgan explodes on. Yeah, that's possible, I guess. But this is a ship. This is by far the biggest ship I've seen in this game. Or it feels like it, anyway. And also, it's only the ship in the game that has rotating bits for the people. Does that mean that everybody else, and like the Tsar, and... The Yamato and stuff, how do they have gravity? I mean, you have gravity aboard the Yamato. Also, do that. And <laughs> you'd like to do that. Anyway, that's all the bad lasers again, isn't it? Yeah. What are we waiting for now? Um, I think we're waiting for the, uh, this guy. Here he is. Are you heading in for the. No, just, uh, stop actually. So, I think you're just heading for the Saladin, aren't you? Aren't you? Right here. Where, where, where are you going, dude? Okay. And there go the rest of the tigers on the road. Just gotta fly it over that way for being useless. <laughs> and this dude. Uh, yeah. So he actually, you left the Saladin. Couldn't you have like done this a little bit faster, but just by staying docked to the docking capsule thingy? <sighs> Whatever. Plot holes. Many plot holes in this mission for some reason. I'm suddenly realizing this. <laughs> Alpha leader, we have Steiner on board. Looks like he's been badly beaten, and we have marine casualties. We need to get back to the Imano ASAP. Well, let's Copy go then. That. Let's get the hell home, boarding ship. Alpha Five, signal the convoy. Inform them that the Saladin is secure. They're clear to move in and start the evacuation of the prisoners. I'm on it! Oh, you sound a bit... Alpha leader, looks like they want Steiner bad. I've got a new signal moving in. Damn, this is looking bad. Sir, it's the Churchill! Woohoo! Oh, hey! It's a friendly! Woo! 
Also, cool turret design. Where, do, where can I get one of those? This is Churchill Control. We're commencing retrieval operations. Great job, Tigers. Acknowledged, Churchill Control. We're heading back to the Yamato with Steiner. He's in urgent need of medical attention. Looks like those Coalition scum gave him some special treatment. Copy that, Commander. Get him home safely. We'll take care of it from here. Churchill out. Sweet! War projector online. Let's move out. Yeah, as long as we've got Stein and nothing else matters, right? The hundreds of <laughs> prisoners on the ship. Stein is the only one we care about. Extract him. Get him back. Make him see a nanny. Nanny ship as soon as possible. Or just bring him back to the Yamada because that works. How do we jump back here in one jump? One warp? When we had to take two control. warps this to get there. Wing. We have Steiner. We'll be landing shortly. Alpha leader, yep. we're tracking inbound bogies moving Protected. fast towards your position. Protected. I'm launching back up now. Make sure you protect Steiner. Copy, Commander. Of course. Tigers, we can't afford to let one of them through. Here they come. Nothing ever goes quite that smoothly. Tiger, do not think you can take our prize so easy. Scorpion, destroy these animals. Steiner must not escape. I think hey. you overrate yourself, Kirak. Come tangle with me for a while. It seems you want to make a fight of it. I'm taking heavy damage. No, not like this. No! You are me They think they're tough with all that talk, but they die just like everybody else. Screamer, selected. That's with their raptor coming in from the side. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> but that's another leader out of the way. Nice one. I can actually hit them with the screen as if possible. Keep it coming, buddy. Help! Ah! Maneuverability! Oh, one stream of guy. Man, how many fighters are there left? Did I hit him? I think I did actually, so that's good. I'd like to see you do a bit of dice, man. Who's number one on the kill board, huh? Huh? <laughs> also, what happened to Bandit? Has Bandit just been like reassigned somewhere else or something? For reasons. All the way, man! All the way! Yep. Match speed, that always helps. I've just gotta get into the habit of that. I just seem to keep forgetting nowadays. I'm getting worse at playing this game. That's all the scorpions taken care of. Good job, tigers! This is a great day! Bring yourselves home. Oh boy. <laughs> Sweet. Let's go in here and initiate land. the landing procedure. Out! Don't... Hey, don't back back me. You back. You in. Ah. Pit crew will not be happy with those dings, that's for sure. <laughs> well, anyway guys, that was Mission 18. One of, no, Mission 19, sorry. Definitely one of my favorite missions in this game just because it's so interesting like there's a whole stealth aspect to it there's a prisoner ship nice big plot twist with Klaus Steiner turning out to be alive just an all-round interesting mission anyway let's go ahead and see how our rating was a doing and we got ourselves a half a rating! Sweet! Oh! And so soon, a another medallion! Sweet! Sweet! <laughs> so there it is, the Navy Cross. I'm not sure what you have to do to actually get that medal. Basically just do the mission is the way I did it, which is just do everything that you're told and do it reasonably well and you get the medal. <laughs> Nothing special. Anyway, let's go ahead and read the debriefing. 
an outstanding performance as usual, which kind of makes me wonder why, what makes them outstanding from all the other outstanding performances I've ever done. <laughs> this mission was vital to the Alliance. The news of the rescue of Klaus Steiner has been received with jubilation by command in the Senate. Hopefully Klaus will be will be fully recover will be fully recovered from his injuries and be back in action to give the Black Guard some payback as soon as possible. Taking out Karik Madiz, a known coalition ace, was an added bonus. The use of our new stealth fighters certainly gave us the element of surprise. And the Coalition now know we have the capability to match their advanced Basilisk fighters. Keep yelling. Great work out there. Let's keep it together and stay sharp out there. We still have a long way to go. What, like six episodes? No, five episodes, something like that, and a few bonus ones as well. <laughs> Sorry. Commander Enriquez. Alliance I Command, under personal instructions from Admiral Caldwell, has decided to award you with the Navy Cross. Their decision was based on your contributions in rescuing Klaus Steiner, who we all believed to be dead. I know I did. But now is back among us to add strength to our fight. This boost to Alliance morale will help our people and the men and women of the fleet. You have brought honor to this ship and squadron. Sweetness! New medal! Wow, that, whoa, really? 35 mission kills? That has got to be some kind of record right there. Bringing our overall kill count up to 358. And we are now level platinum, I think. I'm not sure if we were level platinum last time. I think we were, actually. So, yeah, that was a, that was a fairly successful mission, I would say. 35 mission kills. Man, there must have been, like, one or two things that we did not kill during that mission. Holy crap. Uh, but yeah, Klaus Steiner alive, and he's got the same amount of kills as Matt Moreno, but he's a now spot number five, almost off of the top screen, you cheeky little guy. How do you like that? Meanwhile, Bandit and Dice Man still kind of battling it out for place sixth and seventh. What else is happening here on Zekilibald? Okay, Robert Foe, place 14. Man, whatever happened? Well, there used to be 19 when we started. Have really that many people died that we need to go down to 14 points? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is it. No way to stop. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> that was very close. I almost did the outro. We need to go and check out the medal. It actually looked fairly interesting, didn't it? It was some sort of uh, RNG cross. Right, let's head over to the middle cabinet. Turn to the CD player, turn to the locker, walk to the locker, no smoking. I smoke where I want. <laughs> right, so here we go, there it is, it's not orange, it's sort of a, kind of a, uh, it's a different metal from all these other metals. <laughs> Sorry. But there it is, the Navy Cross, awesome stuff, that is truly it for this episode of Let's Play Style Answer. Hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, kia kaha, and I'll see you in the next one.